Hello, and welcome to this demo for the modular Amazon Connect solution. I'm Ian Ryan, an AWS Cloud Architect. Details of all the benefits of a modular solution are detailed in the accompanying blog post. In this video, I'll just be discussing the contact flows and showing a demo of the front end. So this is the main module executor flow which essentially iterates through the defined modules we have and invokes them. Looking through this flow, first up, we set our logging behavior. And then we call a Lambda function to load the module configuration from Dynamo. This gives us the list of modules to execute and their configurations. We save this configuration as an attribute. Once we have the configuration, we now call a lambda that determines which is the next module that we will execute. If we had reached the end of our list of modules, we would stop at this point. However, let's assume we haven't reached the end yet. We save some of the attributes about the module that is about to be executed. And now it's at this point that we will actually invoke the module, passing through the settings for that module that we have saved as the attributes previously. When the module has completed its work, we check the return status from the module to make sure that there isn't an unrecoverable error. And finally, we will check that there's any exit conditions set on the module. These can be things like transferring to a queue or even just disconnecting the call. If there are no exit conditions, we will now loop back to our module executor Lambda. And Lambda will now select the next module to execute and the whole process runs again for the next module. Next, let's have a look at a module that will actually be executed. So the play prompt module is a simple example in this area. First, you will call a Lambda to expand all the settings that were supplied to the module. This is so we can use them later within the module. In this case, we'll be using the prompt type to select the type of prompt, whether it's text, SML, etc. And then we will play the prompt. We set a success return value, and then we can return from this module. So that's the basic pattern for the flows in Connect. Next, let's look at the front end that we have built that stores the configuration in Dynamo with the settings for these modules. So this is where we can really start to visualize how this modular solution really works. We log into the front end, and initially there is no configuration defined. So let's create a new configuration. We need a phone number to associate with this configuration. So we will look and connect for one. Here we have one already associated with the module executed flow. So let's copy that one over. We enter a name for the new configuration and we create it. So this gives us an empty configuration. Let's add a module to actually make it do something. So we'll add a play prompt module initially just to play a welcome message. We apply this module change and save our changes and this change is applied instantly. Next, we can call the number to actually hear our configuration that we've set up. Welcome to the test contact center. 
So that's very simple. Let's add some more modules now. This time we'll add a DTMF menu. So the module comes pre-populated with some default values. We'll just use these for now. It's going to prompt a caller for the menu choice and then perform the action defined here. We apply changes and we can try calling our contact center again. Welcome to the test contact center. For password resets, please press one. For other technical support, press two. To reset your password, please visit www.example.com slash password reset. Thank you, goodbye. So the menu is played and it executed the action that was defined in the configuration. Let's add some more modules. Adding an estimated wait time module now. So this module will play the estimated wait time for the working queue. We'll set an exit action on this module to transfer the working queue when the module completes. We do need to make sure that we have set a valid working queue though. So let's grab the iron of our queue and put it into our DTMF menu. So this menu option will set the working queue to the one that we've just specified. Now let's save and we can call again. Welcome to the test contact center. For password resets, please press one. For other technical support, press two. The estimated wait time for your call is less than five minutes. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. So as expected, we now have the estimated wait time being played before we are being transferred to the queue. Let's add another module again. This time let's just set the voice. So when we add modules, we can move them and reorder them freely so we can allow insertion of modules at any point. The set voice module is giving us a limited set of voices that we're going to allow. And so let's just select one. Let's add another prompt also, perhaps a banner message prompt this time. We can move this up so it plays just after the welcome prompt. So we can call again to hear our latest change. Welcome to the test contact center. This is a banner message. For password resets, please press one. For other technical support, press 2. So there we have it. That was a quick overview of how you can very quickly compose a contact center from all of the modules you have already defined. Of course, we could now create another configuration with a different number and make it have different behavior if we so wished. Thanks for watching this demo. I'm Ian Ryan. I'll see you next time.